Hieronymus Harry Bosch returns to our screens for a ninth season or second, depending on your point of view, as Bosch. Legacy comes to Amazon Freebie. Fresh from the conclusion of the spin-off's first season, in which Titus Welliver's leading man, now a private investigator after retiring from his work as a detective, faced the terrifying discovery that his daughter, rookie LAPD officer Maddie, Madison Lintz, was missing, having been abducted by a serial rapist. To preview the new season, Collider spoke with two of the key creative figures behind The Grumpiest Man in Hollywood to discuss where Bosch was heading in his tenth year on our screens. Tom Bernardo, a showrunner, executive producer, and writer on the series, as well as executive producer Henrik Baston were both generous enough to give up their time to discuss the upcoming season, and we delved into spoilerific territory. Removed for this story, once the full series has aired, we'll post a story about the future of Bosch, Legacy, and its third season. But for now, read on to hear their thoughts on what makes Bosch such an intriguing character and why he's lasted so long, as well as hearing them dish on Bosch's rule-bending, Maddie's desire to do good despite what she faces, and lastly, Henrik's feelings on the critical mauling his directorial work on the in-show movie The Black Echo has taken over the years. Check out the trailer for Season 2 below before you dive into our interview with Tom Bernardo and Henrik Baston. Collider, we're going into the 10th year now of Bosch on our screens, with the show debuting in 2014. What is it you guys think it is about the character that's contributed to his longevity on the screen? What do you think makes Harry such a compelling character for viewers in your minds? Tom Bernardo, I think Michael Connolly, has created one of the most compelling detective characters in the contemporary scene. And I've said this before, I really believe that character, when it's all said and done, will stand shoulder to shoulder with the greats, from Raymond Chandler on down. I think he's built somebody that is archetypal in some ways, but also has taken on real flesh and blood in the performance by Titus Welliver. Titus, he's kind of a throwback actor in the sense that the laconic nature of this character sort of lends itself to his strengths. He conveys a very sort of wounded, damaged world just through his eyes, and I think that makes him, in a sense, mysterious. But with each passing season, we reveal more and more about him none more than in the heightened circumstances that begin our season two. So it's just been, I hope for our audience, this journey that you go on with this character who has this code, who's this creature of institutions with his own traumatic past, who's kind of searching in the darkness of Los Angeles for justice as a homicide detective, and now trying to figure out his life post-law enforcement as a private eye, with these things happening with his daughter now out in the streets of LA as a cop. Henrik Baston. Adding to that, I think why this character works both in Michael's book world, but also we were able to borrow him over into the TV world, is that it doesn't matter where you stand politically, what you think about it. He is that one character or person that I think you all want by your side. He's genuinely on the weak person's side. He doesn't care what politics you have, what race you have, what you are, if you're a cop or a bad guy. He treats everybody the same. And if you have done someone wrong, he's going to rectify it for you and go through hell and back to do that. And I think that's what we all miss, especially in this crazy world, is that stability, someone who doesn't play for the audience, he just does what's inherently right. And I think that is rare, especially in the real world. I think that's why, at least me personally. I remember when I started reading Michael's books, it was like, this is a guy I want to hang out with. And if shit would ever go down and someone close to me would have been hurt or injured, that's the type of person that you want to come in and say, I'll fix this for you. And I think that, at its core, is what makes Harry Bosch a likable character. 